Hello everybody, this is Wayne. I'm up at the Anchorage International Airport and I thought I'd give you a quick little rundown of the airport before I get ready to fly out. This is your typical security area. There's about three or four scanners going on there at all times. Um, during the summer months it can get rather hectic so plan wisely. On the left hand side we've got Alaska and Company Gourmet Market. Next to that, we've also got one of your standard Hudson News. It's one of the larger ones here in the airport, but there are multiple that you can look around for. There's two concourses in the airport. One to the right there, which is the C concourse, and this the B concourse here. And there's lots of wildlife running around in the airport as well. So watch your step and take some pictures with them. If we cruise down the B concourse here, this is going to be mostly your Delta Flight, United, American Airlines, uh, JetBlue. It's also got the ConocoPhillips shared services flights. We've got bathrooms right at the beginning of the concourse. There's also a Best Buy Express station here that you can purchase earphones and things like that. We've got some little shops off to the right hand side. There's three of them that are different shops. So you can pick up your uh, Alaska souvenirs, or if you forgot something, you can always stop in and pick those up as well. Throughout the airport, there's multiple different pieces of artwork. They're either hanging from the ceiling, or we've got them standing right next to you as you're walking down the concourse. Another set of bathrooms off to the right here. Um, the airport is rather convenient on that. They do space the bathrooms out throughout both of the concourses here on the south terminal. One thing about Anchorage Airport, uh, a lot of the places aren't open 24 hours a day. So we've got Humpies on the left here and it's not open right now. It is fairly early in the morning still though. So a little later in the day it'll be open. they got good beers in there and you can get some food. We've also got a lot. Alaska Doghouse, different hot dogs and things like that. Uh, there's also a Cinnabon down here. This is the end of the concourse. Um, like I said, mostly it's just going to be your uh, JetBlue, Delta Airlines, United Airlines, American Airlines, U.S. Airways, and such through here. The B concourse is the shorter of the concourses. The next concourse we'll be going down is going down through the C concourse. And that's where all your Alaskan airline flights are going to be coming in at. And there's my plane showing up at the gate, but I still do have a couple more hours before I get to fly out. So Ted Stevens Airport is one of the main hubs in Alaska, largest airport in Alaska as far as I know. Um, there are two different uh, terminals, the South Terminal and North Terminal. There's the three shops again, Tundra Critters is one of them. Uh, Aurora Artistry is another small little shop. This is the South Terminal. Um, it's where most of the commercial flights for the local, or not local, but just the United States flights are at. The international flights are nor normally in the Northern Terminal whole separate section. I'm not able to get there from this side. I'm also already behind security, so I'm not going to be going outside of the gate there. But off to the right, we got Norton Sound. This is a coal shop, so if you want to get some outdoor gear, you can get that. There we go. There's a Norton Sound seafood restaurant. They do have a breakfast there in the mornings if you want to grab that. Over here are a couple more little shops that you can buy items that are local to Alaska. And there's the exit to security. So I don't really feel like going back through security, so we're not going to exit there. Cream right there was one of the newer shops that we've got in the airport. And we've also got the pork and pickle grill pub and restaurant. Starbucks is right across the hallway from that. As we keep going down the concourse, we have 
Silver Gulch Pizza. They've got good beer, good pizza in there. And they've got a nice little takeout area right here that you can get food, take it on the plane, and make all your cabin mates on the plane along the Jello side. Another new shop in the airport, Cabin Chill. And more bathrooms down on the sea concourse. Also got another small huts news and then in motion and entertainment. So if you're missing any headphones or anything like that, you can stop in there and grab those. And across the hallway there is McDonald's. A couple more little vending machines that you can get items at. Uh, they kind of range in different categories. We've got Jazzy Gourmet uh, Popcorn right there. Again, they're not open. Like I said, quite a few places aren't open 24 hours a day, and they don't open up until a little bit later. A couple more little small shops here. Another big Hudson News. Then the Anchorage Market. You can get a few breakfast items in there or sandwiches throughout the day. And there is a walkway over here in the sea concourse that allows you to cruise down through several of the gates as the sea concourse is the longest concourse in the airport, at least in the south terminal. Another one of the Best Buy Express stations. During the summer months, the airport can get kind of busy. Like I said, security lines can be kind of long, so you want to plan for that. They typically only have about three of the scanner stations open at a time. Here's another one of the little vending machines. You can get like hats and socks and gloves out of this one. Winter time, the airport is not as busy and you can definitely make it through security a little bit faster. But summertime, we get all those summer tourists coming up for fishing and it can definitely be busy. You're getting closer to the end of the terminal down here, or concourse. There is a small little bar on the right hand side. Then you got the sushi place over here on the left. Once you get down towards the very end, you're going to run into kind of a bigger open area. Airplanes hanging from the ceiling. And there were some bathrooms just a little bit farther back on the left hand side so those would be the last bathrooms in this area there is another section that's outside of security it's for the smaller planes such as raven air and pen air and also grant aviation but like i said those are outside of security so if you do plan on flying out any place that's not a commercial flight and it's someplace local in Alaska and you're flying one of the smaller ones you'll have to exit security go down the stairs grab your bags from the baggage carousel usually and go down to one of the other smaller air air providers um, just a quick tour of Anchorage Airport hope you guys enjoyed um, if you're coming up for a visit hope you have a good visit you stay safe and good luck fishing and hunting or just having a good visit. Thank you.